Welcome to a TLDR Wrath Guide for the Faction Champions, for any PvPers forced to play the rest of the game. This is the third boss in Trial of the Crusader and is a complete shit show. The fight is an arena match against 10 AI chosen from 14 random specs with at least 3 healers. The first thing, as any good PvPer knows, is go for the healers. The four possible healers are Resto Druid, Resto Shaman, Disc Priest and Holy Paladin. Assign a kick for each healer and banish the Druid if you can as they mainly use instant casts. Kicking the Paladin makes them useless just like the real spec, but they can use Hand of Sacrifice and Bubble so have a Priest Mass to spell them if they use it. Purge any hots, focus the Shaman first, kick them all and kill them before moving on to the DPS. Some DPS are worse than others, so I'll start with the spicy ones. The Enhanced Shaman puts out some serious damage, interrupts casters and drops some totems. After the healers are dead, pop blast and burn him down as Prio Numero Uno. The Rogue is a bastard as he has high burst DPS and targets casters. Have a DK chain and grip him off low health targets and watch his target of target as he can shadow step and unload on someone's ass. The Warrior is another high damage dealer and Whirlwind will kill you, but you can disarm him to reduce the damage. Slow him, kite him and kill him. The Warlock is the last of the danger squad as Hellfire will also also kill you if you stand in it. The next DPS should be killed after the previous ones as they are still annoying and can deal some high damage. The mage is as obnoxious as the people who play them, dealing high arcane damage and polymorphing you for fun, so kick him to stop him casting. The DK will grip, stun and slow you, but he is easier to kite and slow around himself while you deal with the others. The shadow priest is amazed he wasn't on the bench, but mainly casts dots which can be removed, and kick him too for good measure. The rat paladin won't be too dangerous damage wise, but he will be rather annoying. Sack, bubble, bop, hodge, freedom and repentance will all be what he casts. And the last two aren't that dangerous and should definitely be left until last. The hunter can slow you and put down frost traps, but his damage needs a buff. And because even the blizzard devs hated boomies, he just cyclones people, which actually helps because it removes any dots you have and makes you immune. Save him till the very end while his team report him for griefing. On heroic, there isn't a lot that changes aside from not being able to taunt them, and they all get a PvP trinket ability to remove CC. And a few more general tips. On heroic, burn as many PvP trinkets as you can by having your DKs open with hunger and cold. Don't waste DPS killing pets until the healers are dead as they aren't that dangerous. Don't overuse your CCs as they do have DR, just like real PvP. Using healing reduction like Mortal Strike on the kill target while the other healers are still alive is quite helpful. And don't forget things like cleansers, purges, spell steals, dispels, and decurses. And that's all for the faction champions. May the odds be ever in your favor. Hopefully you have some PvPers who can interrupt faster than they can sign up for raid. Like and subscribe if you found this useful. I'll catch you in the next one.